from Newsnet and CCTV. It's high school basketball coming to you tonight from Cadillac High School. All right, everybody. We are just seconds away from the national anthem here from Cadillac High School. Again, where tonight TC West is in town to play the Cadillac Vikings in girls basketball. I'm Dan Gussert. Alongside me is Evan Frito, and we're going to turn it over to the public address announcer at this time. Once again, another excellent rendition of our national anthem, and uh, I guess we're ready for the starting lineup here, Ev. I guess so. First for Traverse City. Under the direction of Coach Amy Drake, our first starter is number 12, Emma Gustafson. Second starter would be number 21, Sarah Schirmerhorn. Allie Jo McKenna, where number 23 is also starting tonight. Aliyah Deal, where number 24. And our last starter tonight is number 30, Megan Lautner. And that brings us over to the Vikings. Head coach Mike McLaurin and assistant coach Dave Simons. Starting number two, uh, junior guard, uh, five foot nine, Molly Anderson. Next up, number three, coming off a great night, McKenna Bryant. Up next, we've got number 15, Olivia Meyer, a junior point guard. Emma McTaggart, number 10, a forward, ju uh, junior forward. Lastly, we have a senior, number 12, uh, Michaela Knight. So that rounds out the starting lineups here, and we get ready for this Big North clash between the Titans and the Vikings. We'll see if uh, Coach Simons is a little bit of a prognosticator here tonight. And uh, has his kids fired up on defense as we get ready to do some battle here in the Big North Conference. Have you know, playoffs three weeks away for girls basketball, three to three and a half weeks, just right around the corner. Yeah, as as a team, you want to start thinking about playoffs, but I mean, you still got three weeks of season left, so you can't get can't look too far ahead. And as, as seniors, every one of these home games gets to be a little more special, don't they? Yep. Vikings win the tap. Olivia Meyer gets the Vikings in their offense. Looks like Traverse City's come out in a man defense. And they make a quick steal right there. Looks like the Vikings get into some sort of a, a press right away. Or at least they're 
I mean, definitely out there on defense pressing them. Nice job by TC at this point to swing the ball around. First shot of the game is a little bit off. Vikings get the rebound underneath. Here comes Molly Anderson. She's going to run the Viking offense this time. Finds Olivia Meyer. This is McTaggart with the first shot for the Vikings. Oh, just off the mark. Just a little off to the right on that. Vikings uh, picking up even off the miss in some kind of a pressure situation, aren't they, Evan? That's not easy to do. No. It's kind of find, find someone that plays relatively close to your position and just match up with them. First basket of the game goes right in for number 24, Aaliyah Deal. And a nice little post move from her. Traverse City's matching the Vikings with the, the kind of the full court press to start. Oh. Number 24, Deal, who just made that basket. Got her fingertips on that pass. It's a good look inside. Goes off TC and McKenna Bryan will inbound it. Get the Vikings in the offensive play they want to run. Travis City with a good kind of good poke steal there. So this is Wagner with the ball. She sends it across to Shermerhorn and gets it right back. The Vikings defense is meeting them well above the three-point line. They're not letting Traverse City have anything easy. Strong move in there by Deal. She is fouled. Looks like Molly Anderson picks that up, and Deal's going to go to the line with the first two free throw attempts of tonight's ball game. That's a good move. She's not uh, hesitant to go to the go to the basket. Ev. Oh, no, she knocked the first one down too. Yeah, when you're when you're driving, can't fear contact, and she definitely didn't. Went right into her, and I mean. Got two free throws out of it. Made the first. We'll see if she knocked the second down. And nothing but net. Travis City meets him in a full court press. It might just be a man-to-man -man press. Yeah, I think it? it's uh, really just picking up two players. Okay. Which I think is Bryant and Anderson, and they're just saying we're going to let somebody else bring the ball down the floor. Not a bad strategy, especially after Bryant comes off the game scoring, what was it, nine threes? Nine threes. She hit just two nights ago. Oh, great steal coming down by Olivia Meyer. She noticed she doesn't have numbers, so she kind of pulls it back a little bit. Vikings have got some good shots. They haven't gone in. That one from Olivia Meyer, a little bit strong. Yeah, we'll take them. They're definitely choosing A and B shot selections, not forcing anything. Oh, we got a foul call, call right there. A tough pass. Real tough Kinda pass. Kind of put McKenna in a tough spot. McKenna being very experienced, she darted in right there to not allow the steal to happen and force the foul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she definitely went to it and didn't wait for it to come to her. Ooh, a three to start is off. Michaela Knight. Michaela Knight hits the first basket of the game for the Vikings, cuts the lead to four to three, and they uh, get in that press. Molly is just so good back there at the back of that press. She sees everything before it happens. She gets another steal. Oh, McKenna wanted to match her. But Vikings get the rebound. That's a great screen off of that rebound right there. That's heads up play by Knight. Taggart gets a good rebound and the Vikings maintain control. You know, the Vikings are putting a lot of shots up, but Olivia Meyer with the three. Their shot selection is, is still good. They're open. Might as well shoot with my eyes. Oh, yeah. And this is a group that will shoot, and they don't mind missing. Yeah. You'll see them miss a bunch, and then all of a sudden they seem to just drain everything. And that's the kind of mentality you want for your shooters. Always what? think you're going to make it, even if you're in a little bit of a little bit of a slump. Shoot out of it. Once again, we see the uh, – Traverse City Titans look inside to try to get the ball into Deal. Vikings tip it out of bounds. Uh, it looks that's the game plan is to get it into Deal. Traverse City matches the Vikings height, maybe even a little bit taller than the Vikings. Second team follow the game. 
first player foul on Knight. A little slap in right there. That's the second time I think in the early parts of this game that we see Traverse City able to take the Vikings off the dribble as Wagner gets her first point of the game. Traverse City is three for four from the free throw line, the percentage you would take as a coach. Absolutely. At any level. Uh, yeah. Not just high school basketball. Nope. Oh, good screen by uh, Michaela Knight up top. Traverse City is putting the pressure on the Vikings. Great. Man-to-man -man defense, not giving them an inch. Nice box out right there also. Both teams are playing a pretty fundamentally sound game. Nice job with the pressure right there, breaking that is Ava Warren. Number 10, oh, that was one of those passes the Vikings wish they probably would have got. A little bit soft. Yeah, that pressure McKenna had definitely forced a tough pass. Ooh. And uh, I think we got a jump ball call right there. With 3.14 to go here in the first quarter, it's just 6 5. Cadillac with a slim lead. Both teams are getting good looks at the basket, but a lot of the, I mean, the score is still relatively low just because great defense has been played on both teams, both sides. Another jump ball results in Cadillac getting it this time. Hey, we want to thank our camera crew out there tonight. We've got Miley Hilkowski running one of the cameras, Damian Brooks and Zach Wiggins tonight as our camera crew, everybody, with Hannah Crouch back in the truck directing the whole show for us. Good pass inside to Jaws and Seeley. Able to make a left-hand layup as well. Great little dump. Olivia Meyer with their head up right there on that pass makes a great, gets a great assist. Vikings get the steal back. Bryant drops it and gets fouled. So that's five quick points by the Vikings with possible six. That little hesitation move she did right there. That guy heard the bucket. Able to get that defender to stand up just a little bit. That way she could attack. Great move. Let's see if she can make this make the free throw count as well. Vikings once again pick up with some pressure right there. And as a result of that pressure, Molly Anderson picks it up just past half court, gets another layup. The Vikings are having a little bit of confidence coming in and definitely on the streak. How about that Olivia Meyer pass again? She's got her head up so well out there. We got a timeout called by Traverse City off the pressure you know, as the Vikings storm it with, boy, that's a quick seven, eight points right there, Evan. Yeah, that was, I'm get, yeah, within a minute, seven, eight points. Vikings pressure just got to Traverse City, and yeah, once you get the Vikings on a little bit of a, a little bit of a run, it's you know, tough to stop. That's a great timeout by Coach Drake. Settle the kids down a little bit. Uh, Evan and I have been uh, pretty. Uh, fortunate this year to see a lot of the Cadillac girls games and I don't know about you have but it, it seems like the intensity on defense displayed here but tonight by the Vikings is the um, probably the highest level of intensity we've seen they just seem like they're really into it defensively what do you think I, I completely agree they show up every night with defense I mean shots shots may fall they may not but their defense is there every single night they bring the pressure and we're constantly seeing them force turnovers. As a coach, that's something that you look for in your team. And yeah, Coach Mack and Simons definitely are able to get the girls excited. And like you said earlier, keep them feisty on defense. And yeah, it's good to see. And when you have a squad like Traverse City here or anybody that the Vikings are playing, that pressure wears on you all night long. And you can make great decisions for a little bit. And then all of a sudden, it seems like it snowballs. And we'll see how uh, the timeout works here to cut 
the Viking momentum down. Vikings come right back out with that pressure. And quick steal, Jaws and Seeley. Was able to draw a foul. Yeah. We want to also mention our sponsors here tonight, everybody. Sponsoring our broadcast here on Newsnet and CCTV, our Pizza Plus here at Cadillac, Cadillac Tire, and Fox Motors. Thank you to those local area businesses. We appreciate everything you guys do for us to help us bring you the broadcast we've been able to do all season long. Seely just a little bit of the front rim on that one. Drains the second one with nothing but net. Extends the Viking leads to 10 and allows them to get into their press. Ooh. Molly Anderson went for that, that pick and it may have came for a chair. Ooh. Maddie Drabeck with a nice block. Yeah, the she's Vikings one of the shortest right players down. on the floor and she blocked it from behind. <laughs> She'll probably celebrate that one with the coaches later on. Oh, yeah, that'll be a highlight day play. <laughs> good swing movement by the Vikings. Gets a good jump shot, just doesn't go in. Drabeck with the rebound, just out at half court. Maddie had a game earlier this season where she had two blocks right in a row and came down for a, a jump shot on the other end. Another so. good wide open three, just doesn't fall. Looks like that would be Lautner with the rebound for Traverse City. Bringing it up right now, Emma Gustafson. She gets it back, swings it across. And Traverse City kind of takes a deep breath here and gets into their offensive set. I haven't seen it in a few minutes, Ev. No, the Vikings have been putting, uh, putting too much pressure on them. That's a long three, is a little bit off right there. Bryant gets the rebound. If you're a Traverse City coach, you're at this point you're probably thinking we have to try to slow the Vikings down to have them play our pace of basketball because right now they're playing the Vikings' pace and they need to maybe slow it down a little bit. Drabeck lines up that three and that one's off. Whipple almost gets that rebound. But here comes TC's Gustafson. She traveled before she made the pass. Looks like Chels Chesney Berge checking in for the Vikings and back on the floor, Olivia Meyer. Let's we'll see if the Traverse City keeps it. Oh yeah, real uptight defense though. Meeting, I believe that's Olivia Meyer right at half court. That oh. was an extremely athletic move, Ab. <laughs> for a freshman, for any level. Yep. That was just great. I was hoping to see that one fall too, but just off the back of the rim. And I think uh, the Vikings got a little tip on that last shot. That'll end our first quarter here. Vikings lead 15 to five. We hope you're enjoying our broadcast here on Newsnet and CCTV. And Evan and I will be right back. 